Welcome. Let's take a look at a car. It's a die-cast 1967 Chevy Impala SS. It's from Jada Toys. It's part of the Jada Toys Big Time Muscle line. This is a fast car. This is a car that had a 427 in it, I believe, available, and about a 350 horsepower engine. Um, this is a lowered version with a two-tone paint job on it. Uh, it came in this box that had a picture of these other cars in the line that are also available. They all look good. I'll tell you about the ones that I want. I want that Roadrunner. I don't really care about that Camaro. I already have that Charger, but I have it in, in Candy Apple Red. I like that Chevelle. I want it. I'll take that Corvette. I already have the the Knight Rider uh, Camaro, I'm, so I'm fine with Camaros. I have Kit. Uh, I already have this Firebird. I love this Firebird. Uh, I don't care about this Mustang. I like this Chevelle, too. And I also like this Mustang, this GT500 Shelby. But today, we don't have any of those cars to look at, although we do have a couple of those cars in the collection. But today, we're looking at this brand new car that just got here today from Jada Toys Big Time Muscle. It's a 1967 Chevrolet Impala SS. Let's take a closer look. This is me. And uh, I'm going to be like the, uh, the showroom manager. So... Welcome. There's coffee at the desk. Janice can help you if you need anything. So otherwise, let's take a look at the car. Nice detail, huh? So we have some decal work on the side that is uh, accurate to what we would find on the actual vehicle. If you look right there, you can see it says 427. That's the engine size that I just mentioned a moment ago. I'm not sure what it says in that other sticker because I can't see because I have my glasses on. What's this? Well, that's some sort of an imperfection or something. Right out of the box. It's glue. Huh, okay. So this is glue residue from the factory. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure we'll see on, this, on the box in a second. We'll have to do something about that. We'll get to that. Oh, so that's interesting. So we got a little drama right off the bat, don't we? So we saw that uh, that decal work right there. We have these wheels. Now, I'm not huge on these, right? These are these new chromed out low rider type wheels. They're very skinny. See these ti the tires? I mean, the wheels themselves are not attractive. And the tires themselves are really not that cool either. They're those low profile tires. But a lot of cars, just about all cars have them now. But this can be remedied. I have other wheels and axles and tires, and I could do whatever I want with this. But, but this is how it looks out of the box. If you wanted to buy this car and say you're not a guy that has all these, you know, that has been doing this for a while like me, and you can just swap out, uh, you're stuck with these wheels, right? And I might be stuck with these wheels. I haven't tried to swap them out or remove them yet. Sometimes these things are so solid in there that there's no way of getting them out. I've had that problem has come across I've come across it before where I wanted to swap the axles and the wheels out in a car and I attempted and it was so difficult that that uh, even after all different things like applying heat you know um, and then you know uh, still you know with a, with a blow dryer and then it's still like the only way to get them off would be to break them but we're not going to do that we don't really care that much this is a this is a, a $15 car this is not expensive it's just a fun little car to have it's a fun car to have in my collection that I can pass down to my grandson who loves cars because he's already, you know, he's just a little kid now, but I mean, the years fly by and before you know it, he'll be 10 or 12 and he might really like these more than Hot Wheels. This is, has Impala right there and that nice, an Impala is uh, some sort of a, a herd animal, isn't it? It's a deer. It's like a skinny, fast deer. I love this, the lines on this car. All right, so let's back up and set this bad boy down on the rug and take a look. Look at that. I like that paint, that two-tone paint right there. Okay, so we start on the driver's side. Let's come across. We're going to move around uh, clockwise and come to the front. You see it says Jada Toys Big Time Muscle. It's very accurate uh, 
front grille and headlights. It looks nice. I think it looks really good. And there's like a little, I mean, this is right out of the box. All I did was remove the, the plastic and stuff. But like I said, this I, I think this was $13.99. And it's probably less expensive if you buy this like at Walmart or someplace like that. I mean, it's not, it's, this isn't like a Welly. It's, this is Jada. It's part collector item. Like, I mean, it's part something that, that a person like me could collect and put in this collection. We'll have to look at this. This is kind of a little chintzy right here, but we don't, it doesn't look bad from all the other, other angles. But the, the rear view mirror looks good. And I like the, the, this isn't often that you, these are usually molded. Um, so this is part toy and part uh, display item. So, I mean, you could display this, but then also, oh, this isn't, so sometimes, and most frequently, Jada toys, these side windows like this one, they'll be made of soft rubber so that they, so that they're, because this type of stuff will often break off, these door handles and these side view mirrors, uh, if you're a kid. So sometimes Jada makes them out of soft plastic or rubber, but in this case they aren't, but it doesn't much matter. It, it, it looks beautiful. I love the color of this interior. I don't know how accurate it is. I mean, it doesn't look like it's scale accurate, does it? It would be difficult to get inside of there, wouldn't it? But I love how that the dash looks really good. The seats look really good in this car. I don't know what it looks like to you guys. I mean, I'm looking through the same, looking through the viewfinder. So here's your the engine bay and the motor. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's move around to the passenger side. Over here on the passenger side, we get the same decal work. A little bit of dust. There's no glue. Like on that side, doesn't look bad. I guess this is, is it put together all the way? <laughs> all right, so uh, there's Impala right here. What's that? Some more schmutz, a little bit of schmutz. It's just a car. I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't be free of schmutz. It's a car, right? And it's a toy. It's a kid's toy of a car. It's not like it's some sort of, you know, this is Jada. It's an accurate, fun, solid. This is a heavy car. Everything is die cast here except that interior and the motor. A few little pieces. The bottom is plastic. But the top is all die cast. Let's take a look inside the passenger side. Shotgun. All right, so you called shotgun. This is where you're going to sit. Be careful. In the glove box, there is a gun. So just be careful. I just want you to I just want to let you know that there's a gun in the glove box. So if we get pulled over, you're gonna to have to do something with it. Right. Celebrate the moments of your life. I love the lines on this car. This is a beautiful vehicle. It's the 67 Impala SS with the 427 in it with 355 horsepower. It's been lowered. And it has these new wheels and tires that look like poo in my opinion the rear of this vehicle looks nice we get more jada big time muscle now here's what i do i'll tell you about this i have a box full of leftover car model parts and all kind of other model parts and also decals and so what i do a lot of the times i have lots i have lots of license plate decals left over from many other models you know some models come with multiple license plates different states and everything so i'll put a a, a new, I'll put an actual license plate over these things. I do it all the time. I put real license plates and I cover up. So if you're from Jada Toys, you know, I'm sorry to tell you, but I often cover up your, your, the name of your company and where it says big time muscle on the cars, put and put actual little scale license plate decals to make it look better and more accurate. But I do appreciate your product. Thank you, Jada Toys. I like big time muscle. In this case, the trunk doesn't open up. Usually the trunks always open up on these cars, but they don't. This right here is something about this car that I remember as a kid seeing this car on the street. Like, not lowered like this, but seeing the Impala, 67 Impala. This is a fantastic car for having a little panther or leopard with a nodding head right here in the back window. Maybe two of them. Maybe one on each side. Maybe a panther looking this way and maybe a leopard looking this way. They'll, they'll be flocked. They're going to be figurines 
just about the size of this toy car, about six to eight inches long. And you're going to take these, these little flocked figurines that you're going to buy in TJ. You'll just go to Tijuana and you'll buy them. You don't, you, maybe you don't even have to go to Tijuana to get them, I guess. But if it's not 1967, but say it's 1967, that's what you're going to want for your back window is the little nodding head leopard or black panther because it will look perfect in the back of here because look at all that room back there. Hope you enjoyed looking at this beautiful car, man. This is an amazing addition to my collection. I love the 67 Impala SS made by Chevrolet, provided to us by Jada Toys. Big time muscle. Really, really fun. Great, great toy. Hope you enjoyed looking at it. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.